Okay, so first of all, I'm going to type in January at the top here. Then I will click and drag to fill in the rest of the months. Then I want the days going down the side. So I'll put in the numbers one and two and then click and drag until I get to 31. Then I will fill in the rest of this table with a formula and that is going to be equals date and the year is going to be 2025. Then for the month, for the time being, I'm going to put in the number one for January and then the day is going to be all of the days going down the side and then enter. Now I'm going to format all of this. So I'll change the number format and I'll change it to date and custom. And I will change it to show just the day and the month and OK. And now we can see we have all of the days for January. To get this to be filled in for all of the other months, I need to change the number one here and I'm going to replace it with a sequence formula. The rows is going to be one, the columns is 12, and I'll have a start of one and a step of one, and close brackets. And this will get me a sequence of numbers going from one to 12 along the columns. So that will fill in the rest of the dates for me and I get all of the days from January to December. The next thing that we need to do is fix all of the shorter months. So you can see here, after the 28th of February, we get the 1st to the 3rd of March, which I do not want. So I'm going to hide this by editing the formula. I'm going to turn this into a let formula and the name will be dates and then dates will represent the results from this formula here. Then I need an if formula and I'm going to say if the month of the dates is equal to and then I'll copy and paste the results from the sequence formula. So if the month is equal to the number in the sequence then I want it to show me the results from the dates and if not then I want it to show me a blank cell and close brackets and close brackets again and enter. And now if we scroll down we can see that it's removed the days here and also the dates for all of the months that are 30 days. The next thing that I want to do is differentiate between the weekdays and the weekends. And I'm going to do that using a weekday formula. So I need to select a date. Then I need to decide what the return type is going to be. So I want my numbers going from 1 for Monday through to 7 for Sunday, which means I need the return type to be the number 2 and close brackets and enter. And this now tells me that the 1st of December is a Monday. Now I'm going to delete that and then select all of the dates and then I'll apply conditional formatting. So we'll go to new rule and then I will use a formula and that formula is going to be equals weekday and I need the cell reference to be the active cell so that's B2. And then I need the return type to be the number two because we just looked at that. And then I'm going to say I want to format all of the weekdays which are less than six, which means I would format everything from one to five. So that's Monday through Friday. And the formatting that I'm going to apply is going to be a fill and it's going to be a light gray and OK and OK again. And now all of the days from Monday through Friday have a grey fill and all of the weekends are still white. The next thing I'm going to do is add in some borders. So I'll select the whole of the table again and go back to conditional formatting and new rule. 
Then I'm going to format only cells that contain, and then I'll select no blanks. So I'm only formatting these cells that contain a value. And the formatting that I will apply is going to be a border and an outline and OK, and OK again. Now this will be easier to see if I remove the grid lines. And now here you can see that the blank cells have no border, but all of the other cells with a date in them now have a border. The next thing I'm going to do is hide all of the dates. So I'll select everything again, and then go back to home and the number format. And then I'll change the custom number format here to be semicolon, 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 and then OK. And this will hide all of the dates. They are still there, we just can't see them anymore. I'll then format everything down the side and also along the top. So I'm going to make all of this bold and I'll give it a border. And then I'll put the text in the center. Then I'll make this column here thinner. And I'll make all of the other columns wider. And I'll make them all the same size. Now that I have this looking the way that I want, I'm going to go to File and Print. Then we'll change this here from No Scaling to Fit Sheet on One Page. And I'll change the orientation so that it is landscape. And then I would print this and then fill in all of the big events like holidays and birthdays. Of course, there's not really room for detail, but I like having an overview of my whole year. OK, so in this video, I have shown you how to make a yearly overview in Excel. And that is everything.